Hello everybody, welcome to my first aid kit and survival kit video. This is take number two because I was using an app that didn't want to save the other video I just made that was like, I don't know, 26 minutes long, but who's counting? Um, I don't want to make this again, but I'm going to go ahead and run through it because I'd like to show you guys what's in here. Um, it's a little bit of a mess in here because I repacked it uh, quickly, um, but it does all fit nicely if I take my time. So let's get to it. On the outside of my kit, you'll notice a little molly pouch with a Vigilant Trails survival snare kit. And here are um, how to snare, as well as guides to tracks and a little bit of tips. You know, I may go my whole life never using these snare kits, but uh, it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. And these only go up in value because they get more expensive with time. So I'll take this neat little three snare kit and pouch. And uh, if I ever need them, they're there. The front of this guy is where I keep my knife. This is the little Gerber pocket clip. Big fan of this little guy. It's real thin, not too heavy, well made. This knife's um, got good purchase when you do this. I enjoy the size. Um, I like the two holes here. I can lash it to a spear if I need to in a pinch. Stainless so it won't rust, which I value. I know carbon is the way to go for bushcrafters, but I don't like rust. Nobody's getting tetanus shots out there. All right, let's open up the main pup here. All right, as I expected. Kind of messy, but let's walk you through it here. Because I'll start on this side. Liquid bandage. This is probably the most used item I have in my kit because I can spray it on any kind of wound and it forms a liquid band-aid, hence the name. Very useful for hard to reach places, places that won't stay on, and just because band-aids suck, they fall off. I have a lot of them in here, but you know, if I can use this, I will. Medical tape for gauze, which we'll get to next. I have compressed gauze. This one's been opened because my partner's daughter got injured and um, it's not sterile anymore, but I mean, there's nothing that's on this that's gonna get me infected. Um, it's perfectly good to use. So that's the way it looks when it's opened, but here's when it's closed and all vacuum sealed up. Instead of those big balls, you know, <laughs> big cylinders, you've got yourself a nice compressed package with this compressed gauze. Big fan of these guys. And a lot of it too. Like she used very little for her finger wrap, and this this guy's meaty. Glow sticks. You can use it for obviously seeing things in the dark. Um, would be good for you know keep the boogeyman away at night. If you're in a survival situation and you're out spend the night in a less than ideal situation, you know at nighttime can be a scary thing. This will keep you, uh, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you hear a sound, this will give you a, a little bit of a glow all night for 12 hours. We're talking 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. There's two of them, so it's 24 hours of light here. Glow sticks. Very useful. Neosporin. This is the Pain Itch Scar Ointment. Big fan of this as well. Keep your infection at bay. Also, it's pain relieving, which is, I think, a nice touch. Because if you're using it, you're obviously going to be in pain. This will help a little bit. I'll take it. Probably the most useful and valuable thing in my kit. The insect repellent. If you really are in a survival situation where I'm busting this guy open, because I always carry others on me if I can, um, this is probably gonna, what's going to save my ass the most. It's not going to rescue me, but it's going to keep me um, sane because there's nothing worse than staying out all night or you know, in the evenings and just getting attacked constantly. How can you work on procuring food, water, or shelter, um, rescue, when you're constantly being ticked at by bugs? Um, it's, an, it's hard, and so bug spray by far, I mean, a campfire is not gonna do crap. I mean, it'll help keep the bugs away, but 
I want both. I want a campfire at night and this guy because I'm not getting bit all night long. 14 hours of protection as well. You want the longest bang for the buck and a survival kit. So two ounces, I believe, yep, of uh, Sawyer. Insect repellent. Also keeps away the ticks, I believe. So that's nice. Don't have to worry about ticks in my home of state of Alaska, but down here in Lower 48, we got ticks. Crazy glue. Only limited by imagination, crazy glue can be used for a million different uses. What I would imagine right away, shelter building, repair of clothes, wound closure. I mean, your limitations really are just limited by your own imagination. Like I said, this is a useful item. Every, every kit should have a thing of crazy glue. If I'm not getting bled or cut and bleeding, then I'm definitely getting burned. I love picking up a stick that I don't even know that's already been in the fire and fell out of the fire and it's flaming hot and I burn myself. Why let that ruin the weekend when you've got burn gel? Um, I need to buy more of these. I've already used some <laughs> because I've done just that recently in life. Um, basically band-aids for burns. These are soothing and cooling. So once you get burned and use some of that cream, slap this on there. It'll give you long lasting a cooling effect. So this is for the burns. I don't mean Bernie Sanders, I mean burn. Here we go, we got some next care, skin crack care. I got this because in the cold, you're, there's little tiny cracks in your fingertips. They can be really annoying. As well as when you get lots of fingers, uh, little wounds, little micro cracks opening up because you're using too much hand sanitizer or something. This guy here can really make a difference. It's a little brush, you just brush it on, and good to go. All right, Band-Aid train, here we go. We're gonna choo choo to the blister train. Blister packs, Band-Aids of all kinds of sizes, large, extra large, extra, extra large. Uh, these are multi-use, waterproof, ex uh, several day use Band-Aids. They're taped up to keep them small, organized, and I can use the tape for other things if I need to in a pinch. Nothing like uh, sharpening a stick, slipping and hitting your hand because you're tired, exhausted, maybe you have a few brews in you. Either way, um, why let that ruin your weekend as well <laughs> um, when you can use something like this. Made in America, stop bleeding fast. It says here, stop bleeding in seconds. Uh, made in USA. So pour this on your wound, wrap it up, good to go. More stop bleeding. What first aid kit is complete with lots of that lots of bleeding stoppage. So clot gauze. This guy here will supposedly do it five times faster than ordinary gauze. So that's pretty fast, five times. I'll take a chance on this. I think that's all for this side. Over here we've got my survival fishing kit in a can. Too small to probably, uh, to probably boil water in, but uh, I could use this tin can for other uses, collection of things, um, or just keep the kit inside. But uh, if I am in a situation where I'm stuck, a way to keep busy, bring food to me, or you know, relax, whatever. It's good to have a little survival fishing kit, and I'm a big fan of this um, by Best Glide. Kevlar, and it's poking out. This has a million uses as well. Snare wire, repair, um, traps, trip line itself, like actual trip line. Say you wanna um, set a perimeter around your uh, campsite. Well, if you've got a can, fill it with quarters, rocks, something that makes noise, and set up a trip line. 85 feet, plenty of areas to circle with this guy. Let them or be, be known of predator or enemies before they see you. You can know they're coming with a little bit of Kevlar trip line. Fire bellow. So if I got some coals in the morning, I fell asleep too hard and my fire went out. Um, you know, you don't want to use up your fire starting materials unless you have to. This fire bellow is long. It's one of the longest ones I could find. And 
you can get real far down inside there for either when you're making the fire, you can blow easier at the core and not blow your tinder flying everywhere with your mouth next to it. Or like I said, if there's coals and you want to bring it back to life, nothing like a little fire bellow. Maybe you can use it as a straw as well if you needed to. Um, on here is my little... Obviously, you probably can tell what it is already, but let me just unstrap this beast. This is a compass. I don't do map reading and travel ever. Um, so if I use this compass for anything, it's gonna be a general direction, like to go backwards or something, I don't know. But I would just need it for a general direction. I don't need, I have lots of other better compasses, bigger, more um, fancy with a um, you know, little magnifying glass and all that stuff. But all I want is something to tell me which direction is north and that way I can find out every other direction. So this will do that for me. I can do a little lock with this button here so it doesn't spin but yeah compass if i'm using that i'm in deep trouble because I don't, I don't use compasses so propel um i'm a big fan of the shows like survivor man dual survival um alone naked and afraid i think it was naked and afraid one of their newer seasons and they had a bunch of meat. I think they're in Africa. They got a bunch of boar. And they were dropping like flies, though. Um, turns out they needed salt. They needed some electrolytes. They had all the, they had a belly full of food. But based on one thing or another, that this would have helped, um, their body were shutting down. So it made me think, like, wow, I could be out there slaying fish or something. But if I don't have some electrolytes, some salt, some potassium, I'm screwed. So this guy here would help... Um, keep me going and i was looking up uh electrolyte tablets online like on amazon they were overpriced for one and for two um their their content was way lower than the contents on these guys like the percentages i couldn't believe it it's like one propel was way better than like several pills and a huge bottle uh for these uh electrolyte um performance enhancing stuff you see online so propel duct tape because why not you need duct tape wounds equipment repair hell if your boat's got a leak slap this on there you could use duct tape for endless amount of things duct tape again i'm kind of going through this faster because i've already recorded this once but you're getting the idea of what i got this is my swiss card from Victorinox. This guy's got everything. It's a, it's a, this is a first aid kit, or not first aid kit, this is a survival kit in itself. So you've got scissors here to cut that medical tape, to cut gauze, um, fishing line, whatever. Give myself a haircut, just kidding. Um, this here is a very sharp um, pen knife, P-E-N knife. Um, very sharp from the factory. I could use this to get in there and, you know, process some game, scale a fish, fillet a fish, cut open a squirrel. Magnifying glass to see that tick better or the splinter or wound. It was infected. You can see it a little bit easier with this. Best of all, fire starter. Get that fire going. This is a free, 100% free nature based energy way. Uh, uh, energy freeway to get that um, fire through this magnifying lens. Over here, we got a pen, P E N. Um, oh, I'm sorry, this was a letter opener. I called it a pen knife for some reason. Letter opener knife. Um, this was a pen, P E N, and you can write with this. It's got blue ink. So you got to write a um, note that says, like, uh, going this direction, or a note that says, um, you know, hell, if, you're, if it's a really bad situation you got yourself in, maybe a Chris McCannis farewell. Either way, pen. Over here, you've got tweezers. 
get those ticks, those splinters. You need a pair of tweezers in every kit. This one will suffice for me. Um, over here, say I've got um, a screw coming off of my knife, like I, like the scale's getting loose. I can use this to tighten it up. We've got Phillips big, Phillips small, um, flathead big, flathead small. I believe one other tool on the side. Don't remember which or where, but. And if I'll grab this back out for a second to help me with this. This is a pin, P-I-N. Very small pin. This can really get that splinter out or um, sew. Um, or better, best of all, if you get a magnet on you or a certain pair of clothing, you can magnetize this. Put it on a leaf and some water, and it'll point north. So it's like a backup compass. Or if you, you know, some of the best, uh, best survival stories you hear about um, people who don't believe their compass. They, they go a different direction because, oh, that can't be north. This is, this is crazy. Always trust your compass for one, but if you needed a second opinion, maybe that could help validate you. Maybe it also could, you could screw it up and be like, oh, it's not pointing anywhere, and just believe that too, so you got to be careful. But you can magnetize those in a pinch. Um, here we have, if I can find the switch, a little light. So if it's dark outside, and I'm trying to figure out where my band-aids are, or just whatever, it's a backup light. So between this and the glow sticks, i got some light procurement figured out. And I believe that covers everything. There's a little bit of a ruler on the side, so I can, you know, if I wanted to do perfect symmetry on a trap, Paiute Deadfall, something like that. Swiss card. All right. This is my new skin liquid bandage. Like the spray, but with a brush, and like the little crack one, but this is for bigger wounds. Um, you know, a good blister in a foot, this is way better than a bandage. I mean, obviously I'd be using both. You want to get rid of that friction, but... Um, yeah, I love these liquid band-aid stuff. You've got to try it if you haven't tried it. It's waterproof, lasts for days. Wears off with time. Space blanket. Million uses for this. Shelter building. Warmth. Um, I like the gold because it reflects light. If you're trying to be rescued, you can kind of have this... You know, if the plane's looking for you, you'd be uh, odds are this will kind of sparkle at them a little bit. Um, yeah. Space blankets are very useful. Water purifying. Sorry, I didn't realize how long that was on crooked. Hope that wasn't too frustrating for you guys. Um, water purifying tablets. One is the purifying tablets. This is for the PA plus for clarity of the water, taste. If it's some nasty, gnarly water you're purifying, this will be really useful to make you feel like you're not just drinking iodine. So, water purifying tabs. Spark light. I love this. This is one of my favorite fire starters. They issue these out to the military, the Air Force. Inside here, you got these little um, tinder tabs. You know, the hardest thing to find in the wilderness is tinder. Um, not hardest, it's easy to find it, but... It's one of the hardest things to, it's the hardest process of a fire is finding good tinder and getting it lit. Um, if it's wet outside, if you can't find any in your area, you can't just put a lighter onto a stick and, and, and expect a fire. It's not, it's just going to turn black and you're going to lose all your fluid. So some tinder, like his little cotton pads, you fluff them up and then you use this guy here. This is the meat of the package here. The big boss. This is the one that's brass which is my favorite material, and it sparks a mean spark. We're talking ferro rod spark. Put that next to this, spark it a few times, maybe add this instruction booklet paper in there, and you're gonna be toasting up a marshmallow. So there's no fuel needed for this, it's waterproof. You can do it with one hand, I say I'm injured. I mean, this thing's just, there's no, there's no money value on this thing. This can be a literal lifesaver. 
All right. Sewing kit. Um, Les Dredd was talking about how he had one of these in his kit forever, never used it, and stopped carrying sewing kits. I see that argument for sure. But um, if you had a bad rip in your clothes and you were stuck out somewhere, or heck, on a long backpacking trip, and say your backpack's falling apart, you don't want your stuff to go everywhere. I mean, this can be useful. Not to mention this comes with, you can see these little brass wiring and rope. I can use that for other stuff. Shelter building and snares. I mean, come on, the zip ties. All kinds of useful stuff in here. And these are three water bags. They stand up on their own and close. Um, that's how I'm going to purify my water. You need a container? Here you go. This is a container. Three of them, in fact. Water bags. One liter each, too, which I think the two tablets purify. Stary strip pads. Five of them. I just got turned on to these recently. They're pretty cool. Um, you can't really see them through this, but you have a cut. You put this like, you know, vertical uh, on it and um, it actually closes the wound. It's almost like stitches. So that's cool. All right. In this pocket, we got our drugs. So first things first, tops, survival whistle. If you ever buy a top knife, you know what this is. Uh, it's got three little holes there. It gives a train sound. <whistles> Sorry if that was loud, but it, you know I barely blew on it too. Um, you can only yell for so long if you're stuck somewhere for help until your voice gives out and you start hurting your throat. But you can blow a whistle forever. you got to have one of these in your travel kit. All right, here we go. Ointment, triple antibiotic ointment. We've got more of those um, calcium, potassium, magnesium to keep your body going. You can't just eat off lean meat. You can have rabbit starvation if you just have lean meat. Um, this is a uh, minor external bleeding stopper, wound seal. It's got a lot of re reviews online. Um, so between all this bleeding stop I have here, I can cover some good ground. And I have this for more than one person, obviously. It's not just for a one-person kit. This is I, I don't go out alone usually. So if um, I'm injured and they're injured or, you know, it's a bad injury where we got to do a lot of work on it, you know, I, I could probably seal up a good amount of uh, really bad wounds with these variety of uh, bleeding stoppage. Triple antibiotic ointment again. We got ourselves some Providine, or let's see, what the hell? Oh, this is just another um, antiseptic wipe. Uh, this is for diarrhea. Um, if you catch Giardia, stomach bug, don't process your game correctly, whatever, diarrhea can paralyze you in a survival situation. Having some diarrhea pills is a must. Um, I'm not sure I showed you this yet, but yeah, less, um, less drowsy motion sickness release, uh, relief, motion sickness pills. Um, Allergy pills, antiacid pills, ibuprofen, hydrocortisone cream, maximum strength and anti-itch cream. That will be useful. Plants you rub up on, bugs that sting you. Tylenol, antiacid, Tylenol, more cream that's for itching. Ibuprofen, ibuprofen, and more. And more bleed stop. And I, um, triple antibiotic ointment again, and more um, cortisone cream. Stimulant pills, relaxant pills. Um, laxative. I got this because also in its rival shows, I've seen people go home because they can't poop. They're eating nothing but protein. They have no fiber. They're stuffed up. They can't poop. Um, and it's a, it's a surgery. They have to get surgery afterwards to get that shit out, literally. Um, so for me, I'm pooping, baby. If I can't poop, I'm pooping. I got some, some of these puppies. And last but not least, more and more of this <laughs> um, antiseptic ointment. So there you have it. That is my first aid slash survival kit. So it's a lot. Oops. Hold on here. It's a lot of stuff um, that I had crammed in that little little bag. 
This is a kind of a bonus show and tell. I'm sure you guys know a Mora knife. If you don't, go check them out. They're cheap, well-made Swedish knives. But this is a Mora 2000, and it's special because, see that blade length? That blade length is unusually long. Um, I bought this when I was really young. It's my first knife that I ever bought. My first uh, outdoor bushcraft knife when I was a kid. Bought it from rangeforge.com. And um, this was the original blade length size. The other one's a little bit shorter, like down to here. Um, the reason why this one's longer, I mean, the reason why they shortened it is, um, well, see, see the knife, you put it inside the case. And if you can see, get this focused here. Um, come on. Sorry, the focus is really horrible on me right now. There we go. The knife pokes through the bottom. Um, so instead of making a bunch of new sheaths, they thought it was easier just to shorten the knife blade um, because this will, this always scraped against me, and I always wondered about that when I was a kid. Um, brought my brother, uh, I bought my brother one of these more 2000s you know, years later, and I was like, wow, that knife is shorter. Couldn't figure out why. It took me a long time to research and figure out why that my knife was longer. I thought it was a military issue, Swedish knife, but no, that's not why. It's just because it pokes through the stinking sheath. This can catch on you. It can surely cut you. So my first knife, I actually gave this to a, a friend of mine when I was a kid, and I had to get it back. It took me forever. Um, he didn't use it, obviously. He, uh, yeah, he can't see or do anything. So I <laughs> um, got his knife back from him, and I'm so glad I did because this is my first knife I ever bought, and um, it's unique in that it's too long for the sheath. I got lots of other goodies here, um, lots of other pre-made kits um, that I've made, survival stuff, knife collections, lots of videos coming your way, guys, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching my survival first aid emergency kit. Until next time.